What's up, YouTubers? Man, it's been a long time. I feel like it's been like months, but it's only been, a, I don't know, about a little over a week. Uh, just all of a sudden got real busy at work and have not had a chance to get on the bike. Had a little bit of weather coming in and uh, man, we got a ton of rain. And uh, just has not been ideal, but we are, uh, I am, obviously not on my GSXR. So I thought I would blow some dust off of my CBR 600 double R. So that's what this little video will be about, man. It feels so weird to be on this bike. It's so light and just, Oh man, it's just such a different machine, you know. Is, you know, this is my this is my very first street bike right here, and oh my God, I was so proud, and I still am. I still love this bike. It feels so good. It's so limbo, nimbo, nim. All right, let me slow her down. It's so nimble. There we go. Now we can talk. It has such, I mean, the response is just like, you just think it and it's, it goes there, you know? So, which way do we go? We'll go this way. When you ride your bike every day, you remember all the little things, you know, like, oh, I gotta do this, gotta do that. You know, you kind of got this little list in the back of your mind, stuff that, you know, that is going on with your bike. So when you stop riding that bike, obviously some of that stuff is gonna drop off the fucking memory. So I'm just kind of taking it easy and uh, I don't want to be finding out, oh yeah, that's right, my freaking uh, wheel nuts were fucking loose. I was gonna tighten all that shit up when I got back and I went and bought a new bike and forgot about it. It was great, what is this guy? What's up, brother? What's up, man? Yeah, oh man, this bike, I, I'll tell you what, man, I'm going through memory lane right now with this baby. I remember when I first got this bike, man. Yeah, no shortage of power. Holy mackerel, yeah, baby. Man, I love this bike. Oh man, it's such a fun bike. But this bike, I used to ride this bike around and pretend I was motovlogging. So I would actually do what I'm doing right now with absolutely no camera, no microphone, anything, just because I wanted to do it so bad. I was that excited about doing it. And it was fun, you know? It gets your mind going. It's fun to, you know, just ride and talk. So, with this bike, this is actually the very first time this is where the dream started the, the, of riding and motovlogging. This is the bike right here. And today, I should get the date because it should be like a little monumental day for my CBR 600RR and its first motovlog because this is where it all started right here. What you're gonna do. So. I love this bike. I don't ever want to sell it. I was going to sell it, but now I just want it to be with me forever. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Oh, uh, yeah. Me and this girl, we never lost it. We still got it, girl. with an old girlfriend, you know? Mm -hmm. 
That's right, girls, you're loud. change and I'm back on the road. What an awesome bike. I love my bike. Alright. Alright. Back. Hopefully it turned out freaking Ferrari drove by and hauled ass right over the bridge. A Porsche pulled up. I think I got that. And then all these rat rods and I think I got some of that shit too, which is pretty damn awesome shit. I'm gonna go see if they're right over here. They might be like parked over here, so let's go see. I was a kid, I used to jump off this train bridge right here into that creek. When I say kid, I mean like, I don't know, I think I was like, 10, 11, somewhere in there, 12, probably earlier than 10, tell you the truth, we used to go down there and, and swim, man, I, I mean, early memories, just being down there and just doing whatever the fuck we wanted, it's kind of been the motto my whole life, do whatever the fuck I want. Where those guys went. Uh, that sucks. Oh well. Wonder if they went out that way. I'm not gonna go that way. I don't even want to go this way to tell the truth. The way I want to go is behind me. But I just wanted to see those. Maybe those guys were gonna park somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? But apparently not. So I'm just gonna fucking ride, I guess now. And I will backtrack. I got an idea what I'm gonna do. really super fun but and the other thing is I've, I've got five batteries one of them was charged uh, the one that I have in here now is partially charged so hopefully I get a little bit of footage of this ride and um, yeah so I'm pretty much a oh, man that's stupid I don't get to go on this light god dang it I want to go you know, I just don't even know how bad I want to go. I'm just going to turn around. Oh, here we go. Hey, to the viewer that uh, left me a comment right here, Winters High School. So I coached football and uh, youth football. And um, what am I saying here? Uh, in Calusa. And we came here and played Winters uh, Junior Midgets. I can't remember what year. It wasn't too long ago, six years ago or so. Maybe a little more, a little less. And uh, Winners Youth Football Junior Midgets team was undefeated. We came in undefeated. And um, we beat you guys. And we beat you guys pretty good. But I'm not taking, look at this guy. What are you doing? Ooh. Fucking idiot. All right, I'm over it. We uh, we beat you guys, but like I, I taught my kids, you know, enjoy the victory, but we never gloat. You know, it's one thing in 
and league games and stuff and then the championships obviously are a little different as for the league championship and uh, winners was a great team man solid coaches amazing kids very respectful um, we were treated great when we we came here I have absolutely not one bad thing and it could have gone either way you know the team they could have beat us and, and I would have those same feelings you guys treated us very nice very good so that being said let's get back to riding what's up brothers 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 um, Get your heart going. Oh, ho, 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 man. That makes you. <laughs> All right, hey, okay, so next 11 miles. Okay, I got it now. Oh my god, that was fucking sketchy as fuck. Hope this thing was on. Yeah, it looks like it was on. Oh man. All right. Uh, as soon as I saw that first one, I started slowing down. I, I just, I knew there was going to be another one. And just as I saw the, <coughs> it was actually the second one, but out of the corner of my eye, like right over here, I saw something move. So I knew there was already two, the one crossing in the road. And then I saw something going on up here. And I knew as soon as that one got across, I was thinking, shit, there might be more. And I was slowing down, slowing down. And then that one you guys saw started to cross and, and was like, holy shit, put its brakes on. Thank God that deer put its brakes on, man. I think we would have collided. Yes. Very thankful that that didn't turn out bad. That was two close calls right there. That car pulled out. That car pulling out. I saw it a mile. You know, I wasn't worried about that, but... It's after you've been riding for a while and you're, you know, you're kind of... You've been riding for a while and you kind of expect cars to do dumb things. You know, the, that white car that pulled out in front of me. Um, I saw it a long ways before it did what it did. I saw it creeping and... I knew it was going to pull out. Sure enough, it did. So it wasn't really a surprise. But now those deer, good grief, man. That was a surprise. What's up, brothers? Brothers, brothers! Woo! Yeah, got them all, man. See, not all you Harley guys are assholes. There's a lot of sport bike guys that are assholes too, man. I wave to everybody and I try to give you guys all the same same amount of respect. We're all riding something on two wheels. It's all the, as dangerous as each other's bikes. Um, I, I will actually probably end up, not probably, I will end up with a Harley. I'm not giving up street bike or sport bike or anything like that, but you know, I love motorcycles. And motorcycles and, and I love that style and the look and that feeling you know I want that so I will end up with one and I will have sport bikes as well all right two abusers man all right guys so I'm on my last battery it's barely barely got any juice left in it but I just wanted to get a little shot of the bike what I'm riding today this right here is my very first street bike my very first sport bike I bought it last year 2016 in March the end of March put 15,000 miles on it fell in love with riding fell in love with everything about riding doing this right here standing here checking out our beautiful country that we live in you know anyway this bike right here this is where everything started and I haven't ridden it in several months and I regret it this I've, I've had so much fun today I love this bike so much it's it's feels so good to be out here anyway I, I wanted to do a proper 
outro and uh, show you guys some ducks. But definitely want to say thank you, you guys. I, I've got six subscribers, um, and I really appreciate you guys out there. Muscle Biker, uh, Cue Ball Productions. Uh, you out there in Vegas, man, I'm sorry. I can't, I freaking always forget uh, your name. But thank you, man. I appreciate it. And I watch your videos, and I, and I like them. I hit the button, man. Uh, all of you guys, uh, I, I try to do that for all you guys. Um, I know it's important. So if you guys can return the favor, I would really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. Even if you don't like the, sh the video that you just watched, hit the thumbs down, man. It, it tells me something, you know. I can change my content. I can try to make something better, change stuff, leave comments, whatever you want. Thank you guys again. And uh, I will be uh, uploading this tonight, I hope. Thanks.